Alright, first things first with this movie. Can we all just agree that we're never going to get involved with the Russian mob? Can we, can we make that promise? Okay, thank you. Welcome to my video debut, and today I will be reviewing Triple Nine. Triple Nine is directed by John Hillcoat and stars a whole slew of people, including Casey Affleck, Anthony Mackie, Aaron Paul, Woody Harrelson, uh, Norman Reedus, uh, Chiwetel Ejiofor, I think I'm saying that right, and Kate Winslet, and that's all I can remember right now, but it's a lot of big names, and it was a lot of fun. This movie has a lot of moving parts. It plays out kind of like a typical heist movie, but there are dirty cops, there's good cops, there's intrigue, and this movie really gripped me. There's Russian mobsters that are doing very disgusting things. This movie really uses the show-don't-tell method a lot, which at first was slightly confusing. Act 1 was a little muddy for me. I wasn't really catching all the information I felt like I should be catching, and it felt like they were setting up a lot of characters and putting a lot of pieces in place. But once Act 2 and 3 rolled around and I saw all those pieces come together, they really came together beautifully for me. I really enjoyed the performances in this movie. Everyone did a wonderful job. There are a lot of big names. The only one that really stood out to me as not being as good as the rest was Kate Winslet. She had this Russian accent that sort of came in and out, and at the end it went away so much that I almost began to think it was a plot twist that her character wasn't actually Russian the entire time. Nope, just a bad accent. It's strange to be saying that about a woman who in less than 24 hours we're gonna find out if she won the Oscar for Best Supporting Actress, but what can I say? I didn't like her in this movie. The rest of the performances though were wonderful. I loved seeing Aaron Paul in this movie. I loved Woody Harrelson. Woody Harrelson. Let's talk about Woody Harrelson. Woody Harrelson has this way of really getting into his characters, and at times it almost comes off as cartoony or over the top, but in this movie it really worked for me personally, but I can see where some might have that similar complaint. He really gets into his character, and at times he seems to go a little more all out than the rest of the actors did, where the other actors were a little more subdued, he's a little more out there, and I enjoyed it, but I can see where some might have issues with that performance. This is a really, really dark movie, and I want to say that just to make sure everybody understands. This is the type of movie you want to take a shower afterwards. There's violence, there's blood, and it is gritty. We see some really despicable people do some really despicable things. I thought this movie was great. The first act kind of lost me a little bit. I love the performances. It was shot really well, and it was gritty, and it was fun. And I'm going to give this movie a 4.2 out of 5. So that's it, the end of my very first movie review. Thank you for tuning in, thank you for watching. If you liked what you saw here, you can click over on the side and I'll have some links there to a Facebook page I'll be making and a Twitter account I'll hopefully be starting soon. And uh, there's a subscribe button over there. If you like what you saw here, be sure to click there, subscribe, and see every new review that comes out. I'm trying to see every single movie the theater gets this year. We'll see how that goes once I'm back into college, but until then, I'll be seeing everything we get and hopefully posting reviews for them. So keep an eye on the channel, subscribe, and if you like what you saw here, share it with your friends, get the word out. I'd love for this channel to start growing, so thank you for watching and thank you for all your support.